we're going to take a look at how to make salt dough which you can use for all sorts of crafts. Here's just one example. But come on, let's take a look and make some salt dough at home. Let's take a look inside and we have salt dough, two cups of plain flour, one cup of salt and some warm water. And of course, some food colouring if you wish. From my first book, we have our plain flour, we have our salt, we have some water and I have a measure. Now, it doesn't matter what measure you use. I'm going to use a small cup. The thing is all about the proportions. Some good quality food colouring. The better the quality, the better your results, but you don't have to use any. So one cup, that's actually quite a lot, isn't it? So I will only need half a cup of salt. You see that half? And then it says up to half a cup of water, not a whole cup, yeah. This is warm water. And then you simply give it a nice stir until you have a dough. So your basic salt dough recipe is finished. Now you want to make your um, designs and uh, I think the thickness of about this, I don't know, is that half a centimetre is best. And then you bake it in the oven for uh, at around uh, 100 to 120 degrees Celsius or 200 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And you bake it slowly for two or three hours. I like to turn my um, uh, salt doughs, especially at the beginning, a couple of times to make sure both sides dry. Now, in the summer, you can probably live these out in the garden and let them dry in the sunshine. So, uh, yes, but it takes time, um, I would say, between three, two and three hours uh, till it is fully dry. And then once you've finished it, you can either paint it with paints or you can varnish it. Or, as mentioned before, you can add food colouring into your dough. And then when you add a nice varnish, it'll have a really nice colour. And that's it. Your basic salt dough is ready.